And it came to pass in those days that a proclamation was made by Caesar Augustus that all the inhabited world should be registered. This was the first census undertaken while Serenius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to the town of their birth to be registered. And Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the city of David, which is Bethlehem in Judea, because he was a direct descendant of David. Joseph went to Bethlehem with Mary, his future wife, who was pregnant. they were there in Bethlehem, the time came for her to be delivered. And she gave birth to her first child, a son. And since there were no room for them inside the inn, she laid him in a manger. some shepherds living in the same part of the country, keeping guard throughout the night over their flocks in the open fields surrounding Bethlehem.
suddenly an angel of the Lord stood before them and the splendor of the Lord blazed around them and they were stricken with fear the angel said to them do not be afraid listen I bring you glorious news of great joy with us for all the people this very day in the city of David a Savior has been born for you he is Christ the Lord this is the proof you will find a newborn baby wrapped in soft cloths and lying in a manger and suddenly there appeared with the angel a vast host of the armies of heaven and they were all praising God saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased shepherds said to one another now let us go straight to Bethlehem and see the things which the Lord has made known to us so they went as fast as they could and looked diligently until they found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger Joy. 
Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? And the star which they had seen in the east went in front of them until at last it shone down on the place where the little child lay. The sight of the star filled the wise men with great joy, and they came and found the child with Mary, his mother. They fell on their knees and worshiped him. And they opened up their treasures and presented him with gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. wise men, being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, returned to their own country by a different way. And the shepherds went back to their fields, glorifying praising God for everything they had seen and heard. And the angels returned to heaven. Many years later, Mary and Joseph, being flesh and bone, came to the end of their earthly lives. But the light that began in Bethlehem was life, and this life was the light of all mankind. And the light still shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never been able to extinguish it. and done. 
One dark night, Christ came, and the light was truly born into this world. Born for me, born for you. I don't know about you, but in my house, ever since December 1st, we have watched The Grinch, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the classic one, over and over and over again. Y'all thinking, where's he going with this? There's a line at the end of that movie, that book, and the Grinch realizes something. He said, you know, Christmas, you know, it didn't come boxes and packages and bags. And, 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 then, he th- and then he says, maybe it means something more. It does. This is what Christmas is all about. God with us. And so today, as we come to a close... 
We want to share the light. You know, Jesus came that night. Then he went on to live his life. A perfect life, by the way. Sinless life. Only to be put to death on a cross. Only to be put to a death on a cross. And then three days later, he rose again. And then he comes back after his death. And then he says some profound words. The last thing he says before he comes, he says this. Go therefore, make disciples, teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. But then he, then he says this. I'm with you always to the end of the age. He's with you always because he's the true light. Church, let's not, let's not forget as we sing and we bring our service to a close, the real meaning behind why we're here and what we celebrate is Emmanuel, Christ with us. So Pastor Danny, let's sing.
And Jesus is just as alive today as he was then. Church, let us go and be the light into the world as dark as it can be and as dark as it may seem. There's hope. And hope came on a silent night. And so let's be that light. Let's pray together and then we'll be dismissed. Father, we thank you. Lord, for us to be able to call on you, to be able to come into your presence, you had to send your son who died a sacrificial death on our behalf, who was risen, overcoming death and the grave, risen and now has taken his place at the right hand. And one day, Lord, because of him, because of that sacrifice, we who know you, who call him Lord of Lords of our life, will be able to stand with you and worship with you. And so, Father, I pray that we would never get over that. We'd never get over the moment where you came in to our life through your son. And so, Father, may we go trusting that you're with us always to the end of the age. And Lord, we ask this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Merry Christmas. We love you. Thank you for worshiping with us. Church, you're sent. Enjoy Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now.